ask art by Sonia Kula. So I am obviously Sonia Kula. And while I began my page to start displaying some of my art, my art is also about teaching and learning. That's what I have done all my life. And something, well, for more than half my life. And something that I've always said about myself is that I think through my hands. And that's exactly what actually all of us do. All of us did when we were little and our children do. They think through their senses, they think through their hearts, they think through their hands. And that's why I thought that I would initiate my first Facebook Live with a simple, sweet activity that anybody can do. It does not matter how old or how young you are. All you need is a sheet of paper. And if you have colors, great. Anything, crayons, paints, whatever. If you don't have colors, that's equally fine. If you have a pen or you have a pencil, I don't have any to show you right now. That's also great because you can then, as we progress, you can doodle or you can shade. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking our sheet of paper and we're just going to fold it. So you can fold it in whichever way you want. You can go across like this and fold it. Just make sure that you are pressing down your fold. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm just pressing down my fold and keep folding it. It does not matter if it's corner to corner or if it's just been done any old how. Just keep folding it and put it down and press along the fold so that you get a nice crisp fold. In case you don't have fresh paper, that's okay. You can use used paper. It just, and even if it's printed paper, that's okay. You're going to color over it or you're going to shade over it. So let's just fold, okay? I'm having great fun. I'm folding back over what I folded before. And you can fold it down and press it. If there are any children who are on the chat with on the uh, Facebook with us and you need me to go slower, you can, I guess, give me another thumbs up and I'll go slower. You need to do it through the comments, please. Because then I'll just take it a little slower. But essentially, we're folding our paper, whichever way you want to fold it. Have you heard of Picasso? Picasso, I think, as most of us would know, was an abstract painter. And he had a lot of fun with the, with the way he positioned things. He, and he went through phases in which he used shapes. He used shapes and he used them in different ways. And that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to become Picasso by the end of it. One of the most beautiful things he said was that every child is born an artist. So that's what we are right now. We're children and we're going to be artists. Fold it as long as you can. You don't need to make it too small. It will become a challenge later. I'm going to stop here because it's going to get too thick for me to fold down. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here where I've reached so far. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to now just open it. Do I need to repeat what I did? Okay, seems like everyone's on track with me. So now that we folded it, are you folded? Mm -hmm. My sister's next to me. Fold it as much as you can okay. and press. Um, pre yeah. 
okay how lovely thank you auntie nuna so i have a colleague's mom who's online who's just said she loves it and i'm so glad to know that hi vandana hi vinita hi diva ranjana gitanjali bharti okay i'm going to open it out now and do it slowly we don't want to tear the paper so let's just do it slowly i seem to be getting a lot of friend requests as we're live so this is quite exciting <laughs> i wonder why okay so you open it slowly and as you'll notice you've now got a lot of lines on your sheet so this is where you need to now take your pen or your sketch pen your pencil or of course your crayon i'm going to use a crayon and just follow the lines it's good if you use a dark color because then you'll be able to see the lines that you've made if you want to do it in a lighter color that's fine okay so we're just going to follow the lines that we made with the folds okay so it will start looking like this and as you keep following the lines you see that it's beginning to look like something that maybe but kaso might have made hi archana okay so i'm just repeating since a couple of people have joined in later we've taken a sheet of paper make your lines huh? make your lines okay. we've taken a sheet of paper and we've just folded it and pressed down the folds for as long as we could keep folding it there's no order to the folding there's no um, correct way or incorrect way we're all just folding and then we're opening it and when we open it we find that we've made shapes on our paper and now we're just tracing those shapes with whatever implement you have if you have a pen a pencil a crayon it's fine just follow those lines so that you've got those shapes marked for you on your paper follow as many of the lines as you can see because that's what's going to guide your coloring after this okay like i said it is an art afternoon so that's what mine is beginning to look like and like i said there are no rules there is nothing that's correct or incorrect how lovely thank you vandana i'm so glad you're enjoying the session so there's no correct way of doing this you just keep uh making the lines wherever your folds were all right so i'm just going quiet for a bit while everyone makes their lines and if you haven't yet folded your paper just fold it just keep folding it on top of it one on top of the other whichever way you you want to fold it just keep folding it no right way no wrong way just keep folding it till you can't fold any more we don't need to make it too um, small the folds it's great fun to do this and as you see you're getting some nice angular shapes out of it you're getting triangles you're getting trapeziums you're getting all sorts of interesting things out of it i'm so glad people seem to be enjoying it and of course you can add a few lines if you like no problem it's yours feel free to do what you want with it with different colors you can use different colors that was a question my sister who's sitting next to me she loves my art sessions so she comes and she tucks herself next to me so that's what my page looks like and now i'm going to color i've got paints because i paint and i've also got crayons 
if you don't that's absolutely fine if you still got the same pen or pencil that you used you can have a lot of fun you could do things like just making lines i'm just going to show you what i'm doing and you could make them in different angles so by the end of it you'll have this really interesting web that you'll have created okay or of course you could uh, make my favorite circles dots just have a lot of fun and if you really want to be a picasso there Okay, so I'm going to leave you free to do it. I'm going to color because I love colors. So I'm going to color each of these shapes a different color. And then I'm going to see where it takes me. I hope I'm not going too fast. If I am, please say so. Hi, Shubhangi. And Sanjeev Shukla. I'm so glad you're enjoying this. Thank you so much. I think it's so important while we're all locked up and locked in and stuck at home to actually take some time out and enjoy ourselves. I mean, think about it. When have we been given the chance to sit at home and just sit at home and you can't do anything but sit at home. So let's enjoy the time we've been given. How often we wanted to be stuck at home. Oh, I don't want to go to work. Why must I run around? Why can't I just get some peace? Yeah, sure. We're all having to work rather hard sitting at home. But that's okay. It's all your own work. Hi, Vedika. How nice to see you. Vedika is my little, little niece. I'm so glad to see her right here. I hope you're enjoying the activity. I think she's four. Am I right, Vedika? You're four years old. So I have two nieces called Vedika. I have one who's sitting in Amsterdam and I have my little one who's following me right now. This is such fun. Okay, I'm going to show you what I've done till now. So I have done both. I've done, as I showed you before, just some lines. And I've also started coloring it in. Oh my goodness, you're six. I think I met you when you were just four. And that's why you're stuck in my head as four. You're such a big girl. You're in class one, right? Okay, so quickly I'm coloring in a few more of my shapes because I'd like to suggest something else that you could do with this. You mind? Very nice. I don't know so I'm doing. going to show you what my sister is doing next to me. So like I said, there's no right, there's no wrong. Your shapes could be as big or as small as you want them to be. So she's doing, if you look, there are little bits of Gondat happening and of course stripes happening here. Vedika, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Gaurav, you too. Thanks, Abhimanyu. Thank you, Auntie Nuna. They're so sweet. This is the kind of stuff that we always did, Priya and I. Priya was Auntie Nuna's daughter, who was my colleague. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm running out of colors. I'm not liking the colors I'm finding. Ah, here are some more. Okay, so I'm just adding some colors quickly to this because I want to have some fun with it. Ah, finally a red. I love red, pink. Give me a bright color any day. And I love it. Okay, that's a lot of blue. I hope you're enjoying it. So 
let's all first i think finish coloring every part of it otherwise i'll run too far ahead because i'm very excited about how it's turning out i'm going to give you time while i keep chattering to finish coloring it what we're doing is of course great fun and we can do what we want with it as i will show you after this it's also excellent for us when as we you know like i'm showing you it's giving me an opportunity to stop and look at what i'm doing and in the same way you can stop thanks manju how nice to know you're here and in the same way you can stop take a look see what it's saying to you and keep moving forward it's giving you an opportunity to think about perspective about your color combinations or if you're doodling on it to think about what you're doodling on it and how your lines are meeting merging moving away from each other and maybe you're not giving it so much thought but that's what's going on at the back of your head and that's so great for your senses to be just involved in something like this we often don't even know what's going on in our subconscious and look at what we can produce from it So I think I'm going to tell you how I started painting all over again. Yes, of course, I always loved painting. I learned well. I used to play with a lot of color when I was younger. I looked forward to art and craft and whatever in school. But I hated drawing. I hated drawing. I hated having to sit and get those. faces perfect and figures perfect and houses perfect and they never looked right to me still i loved painting and of course i did go beyond school for classes when i was younger and then life took over i didn't really have time to do as much as i wanted to and i guess a part of me kind of put it aside because i would always say since i was working with children and i've always worked with younger children thanks amrita how nice to see you here uh i've always worked with younger children i used to always say but i get opportunities to craft and to paint in school and while i worked with nursery pre nursery kg i also worked mostly actually with class 1 2 3 i am somehow I managed to bring in some kind of art and craft into my classes no matter what I was doing I would find some way of if not art and craft of using familiar objects found objects so even if I was doing a math activity or I was doing an EVS activity or a science activity there be something that the children could do with their hands so yeah for the longest time I'd say it's fine i'm doing it in school but then of course there came a pause and when there was a pause i found myself thinking i keep saying that i wish i had time to paint i've got the time why aren't i painting and i had so much available uh in terms of um, i had so much of time available to me and i suddenly realized that i need to pick up the pen and i need to start drawing i need to pick up my pencil so it began actually by scribbling i would pick up my pencil and i would scribble and thank you so much preeti how nice to see you here too and um that's what i would do i would often be in my bed at night 
and I'd have a little book next to me. And I was given this beautiful idea at actually a session I attended at Abhibindu, where this lady talked about an art journal. And I was like, yeah, why did it never strike me before? Why don't I have an art journal? So I would have my journal next to me. And instead of writing, I started drawing. And then, of course, from drawing came the coloring. And that's how I got back into art. And if you look behind me, you can see bits and pieces of it. So that's really where I got back to it. OK, this is where I've reached. I hope some of you also have reached or almost finished your page. Hi, Biplov. Good to see you too. So this is where I have reached. And now comes the next suggestion. It doesn't need to remain as just flat colors. Here's the Picasso in you that needs to come out. Take a look at it. Hold it at a distance. Take a look at it. And maybe you could add an eye somewhere. You could add a hand somewhere. You could add a plant somewhere, whatever lights you up. It could be the moon, it could be stars, it could be hearts, anything. That's the Picasso in you. It doesn't have to always be human figures. So let's add a layer to this. All right. And let's see what we make out of it. So again, if you're using the same pen or pencil, you could just darken maybe in that area. And if you've got colors, which I'm sure the children have, they can use a different dark color and they can start making things. Since I don't know why I have eyes on the brain, I'm going to make at least one eye. You know, that was another thing I used to be scared of making. I don't know why I used to hate making eyes. And now I find especially when I make my unicorns and I make my creatures. I love making the eyes and I make nice big, big eyes. I wonder what it is about. Maybe they're the eyes to the soul. I don't know, <laughs> but I love making eyes. Here, I've just started. I've put two eyes in. Let's see. Maybe I will add a nose or something to it. Have fun. Just keep going. I'm just throwing ideas at you. You could draw flowers. You could make underwater creatures. Mermaids, seahorses, octopi, starfish. There's lots. Oh, yes, a little pussy cat, Ranjana. That would be lovely. A paw print. <laughs> Why not? That would be great fun. Thanks, Diva. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I hope your daughter's with you. Very nice. Here, Sumiti's also added an eye on hers. So let's just let ourselves free. I seem to be adding now flowers to mine. Maybe I'm going to add a fish somewhere. Here, just have fun. Can you see it? So since I have two screens, I'm just sort of swishing between them. And like me, if you notice you've left out an empty spot, that's OK. Color it up or not. Sometimes just leaving it white, what we call negative space, that's good too. It often looks very nice when there are white spaces. When you look at a lot of the artists, uh, especially watercolorists, they talk a lot about white spaces and about negative spaces. And it's amazing how that contributes to the final balance and beauty of your art. So it's always up to you. And remember, everything's beautiful. Nothing, nothing in art 
is not art. If it makes you happy, it gave you joy to create it, it's brilliant. It's fine. Ultimately, it's for you. And it's for how you feel after you've finished it. It's not for anyone else. There was an interesting conversation on one of the art groups that I joined where people were asking, how do you know when you have finished your artwork? Hi, Gita. How super to see you here. And Jum Jum, how nice. And um, I found that a very interesting conversation. How do you know when to stop your artwork? How do you know when to stop painting? And I found myself thinking that when I feel happy with it, that's the time that it's done. So if I was happy while making it, that itself will come to its point of closure and fruition. Thanks, Vedika. Thanks, Jum Jum. I will be winding up pretty soon now. It's half an hour. So thanks so much. And uh, yeah, so that's what I would like to tell you too, that it's part of the journey. It's what it made you feel. And it's also ultimately how you feel when you have finished with it. And it's always, always about you and how you are feeling. Hi, Swati. How nice to see you too. And I've lost my black. Okay, I'm going to take blue since I can't find my black. And I'm going to add some leaves now to this. I'm just showing you mine so that you can see how simple it can be. I'm sure some of you are doing some amazing work out there. And I'd love to be able to see it. So maybe you could post it and tag me and tag Abhibindu Wellness Foundation so that we can all see your artwork. That would be super. Thanks so much, Swati. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. So I'm filling up those stripes that I had made. And I'm cheerfully going to add colors into that. Are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. You can speak loudly. Yeah. What? You can? You can. I'm enjoying it. Okay. That was my sister saying that she's enjoying it. I'm purposely also showing it to you upside down. I know it's upside down. Uh, Ranjana, I think that's a great idea. So she's suggesting that we can add real leaves. Of course you can. You can paste pictures on top. You can add real leaves. You can add a handprint if you want. You can do whatever you like. It's your artwork. Have a lot of fun with it. So I'm purposely showing it to you from different angles. That's one of the things with when you are doing an abstract piece of work like this. You can turn it. And you can have a look and see which side actually appeals to you. I've done that, in fact, with a very large painting. So it's about three feet by two feet. I started painting it because it was a pre-framed thing. Thanks so much, Swati. It was a pre-framed thing. And I started working on it in landscape. So I was working on it like this because that's the way it hung. After I had splashed on some color and I'd stuck lace and I'd stuck newspaper, I even stuck a box that uh, a cake had come in. I had a great, a great amount of fun doing that. When I stepped away from it, I felt it was a bit um, lopsided. So I flipped it. The moment I flipped it, it made a lot of sense. Because now suddenly I could see sky in it. I could see flowers in it. I could see, I love spring and I love flowers and I love the garden. And somehow that's what I'm doing a lot of right now. 
and it became a lovely abstract. I love all my work, so I really enjoy my work. So I guess Happy Artist is a good name for me. And um, I just flipped it. And now it's become portrait. And it's huge. And it's finished. And it's packed away because it's knocked down. So <laughs> I'm happily packing all my artworks and putting them away. I'm going to be winding up pretty soon since we've spent about little over half an hour together. And please have fun, finish doing this and definitely post it and tag us. I would love to see what you are doing. And whether you've used paints, whether you've used pen, like I keep saying, it really doesn't matter. Just enjoy it, enjoy the ride and maybe make another one and another one and share that with us. Hi, Vipin. Good to see you. Thanks so much, Abhimanyu. Okay, I think people are needing to move on to meetings. And honestly, I have one too at 4 o'clock. So I too will need to wind up in another maximum five minutes. And I think, hi, Puneet. How super to see you. So there are a lot of people who are logging in even now. I'm just repeating before I wind up exactly what we did. Since some people have come in just now, we just took a piece of paper. Good old printer paper is fine. And we folded it whichever way we wanted to. I just, we just folded it till we felt we couldn't fold it anymore because we don't want to crush our paper. We just wanted to establish some lines on the paper. We then opened it. Thanks, Ranjana. Love you too. Then we opened it and we made lines. With I had crayon, so that's what I've used. But with a pen, pencil, pen, sketch pen, whatever you have, we made lines along the folds and then started coloring. Some of what you can see here is for the people who may not have wanted to color and would have liked to continue using a pen or a pencil or a single color. And thank you so much, Puni. This is rushed work as I was talking. He's saying it's beautiful. And so we colored or we added designs and we're all masquerading as Picassos. And we've made a lovely abstract piece of work. And since I have a captive audience right next to me. I'm showing you what my sister's done too. And that's what I mean. It's yours. Do what you want with it. And as I said, it's abstract. So you can keep turning it till you're happy with it. And that's the angle at which you want to see it. So I hope you enjoyed today. I'm going to log on tomorrow at three o'clock. And I'm tomorrow I'm going to share a few tips for parents. You can bring your children on if you like, but I can understand how challenging it is when you've got children at home or if you've got only children at home and trying to keep them occupied despite all that the schools are offering. But since they cannot go out, I'm going to thank so much Swati Sumiti. She says that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, because I, I would like to just share some tips and things that you might like to do with your children to keep them engaged and happy through the day. I know that sometimes some activities are very short. So I'd like to give you suggestions which can actually help keep them occupied. So tomorrow is for parents and of course any teachers who would like to log on. And I'm going to try and do this on a fairly, um, uh, sorry, repeated basis. So that around three, again at three o'clock, I'm going to log in every day at three o'clock and I'm going to start sharing tips. So there will be some days when I will share little happy art activities. And tomorrow is essentially for parents and for caregivers, of course, and teachers. 
So see you, some of you, again tomorrow. Thanks, Sonenika. Look forward to seeing you 3 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Thanks so much, Puneet. I just saw that about the crayons. That will be brilliant. I'll get back to you about that. Thanks so much for offering the crayons for the neighborhood. There are, I know that there's Swati, in fact, is here. So she's associated with Samagra, who does some great work with children. So maybe I could talk to her and connect back with you. Thank you so much. It was great being with you. And see some of you again tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And of course, as I keep planning more sessions, I will keep updating on, the, on my uh, Facebook and Instagram page. See you then. I'm closing this now. Bye. And this will stay live as far as I know. It will stay on the page for some time. So you can revisit it if you want. Thank you so much, Abhibindu, for this opportunity. And see you guys. Bye.